This tutorial is going to walk you through using V-Ray rendering from a primary or kind of from a beginner mode, just getting started with V-Ray. So you're going to have your model out there that you want to render already placed in the viewports. Then from the render menu, you're going to select the first option, which is the V-Ray styles or just the V-Ray render builder. And it opens up way over here. So we're going to drag it over so you can see it in the video and it's going to hide stuff. Let's just put it right here. So we're really focusing on the perspective view right now. We can shade that up. Okay, the next thing to do once you've got V-Ray open, you'll notice some buttons up here. We're not going to hit on these. These are more advanced features that are all covered in your manual if you'd like to know what they do. The first thing to do is to place a ground plane. Okay. The infinite ground plane, which isn't really infinite, you can, yes, yeah, scroll to the ends if you really, really want to. But the infinite ground plane is going to make it look like a period, like your ring is sitting on any kind of material, background. It can just be a white, flat mat background. It can be reflective. You assign a color, a texture, anything you want to that background. But if you don't already have something out there for the ring to sit on, you get a really bad result. So just make sure you put the ground plane out there. That's the second button here. And don't get crazy and press it again and again and again, or it'll also look bad. Make sure you just have one out there. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing to do is to decide the materials that you want to assign to your gems. And of course, um, to your gems, your metals, and your background. Okay. And uh, of course, it's easy to select them by using the layers menu. So you right click the gems to select them. Anything that you're going to apply a material to, you need to select in order to apply it. Of course, it doesn't need to be selected just in order to see what the gems are. So you can just have nothing selected and still take a look and decide what all you might like to make all of these different gems. So let's pick one color for the center gem. And to do that, have the gem selected, or you can click on the color first. You don't have to have anything selected just to click on the color. But in order to apply the color, select the gem and click the green go arrow. And that's going to apply it to the gem. Wait just a moment for the gem to be deselected to show that it is applied. Same thing with our side gems. Select them both. You want them both to be the same material, which is going to be diamond. Choose the diamond material and click go. We're just going to stay on the fast, but if you notice that the gem or the metal or anything else has these options, it gives you a chance to make the builder think harder about it while it's rendering and make a nicer result. Okay, so choose slow if you really want to wait for a while and get a slightly better result. It's going to look great even if you choose fast, but if you really have some time that you want to think about it, maybe you're rendering it for a high resolution, a magazine, you know, print it out large and place it in your store window, you might want to choose slow and let it do a higher quality render. So that's what it's there for. Okay, once your material has been applied, we'll go and apply the metals in the same way. Actually, the next thing on the list is the ground planes, so we might as well click there. Click on ground planes to see the entire list of them. Or if you prefer, choose from the linen list or the silk list. You've got just a whole bunch of different colors for each of these. Cerulean. Hmm. <laughs> In the ground plane, we're just going to choose the nice canvas ground plane. I really like the way that looks. Now to apply the ground plane, select that surface first, making sure it's highlighted, and click go to assign the surface to the ground plane. Again, while it's thinking and applying, don't click anywhere. Just wait for it to deselect to show that it's done. Okay. The next thing down is the metals. I'm going to choose a metal and right click on all the metals you want to make in one color. Make sure you use your right click in case you didn't join any of this stuff. Oops, of course I just right click the ground plane, which I don't want to look like a metal. So control and click will deselect anything you really didn't want to have a metal applied to. Okay, same as before, just scroll down and find a nice shade. We'll do a nice yellow gold. We'll do yellow gold light and click on the green arrow to apply it to all the selected materials. We're going to do a different metal for the head just to make it interesting. So right click on the head, scroll up to find the next color that you might want to place such as anything. <laughs> Looking for platinum, there it is. Platinum, platinum and click on go to apply it. 
let it think a minute, and deselect. So once you've got everything applied, the gems, the ground plane, and the metals, you're ready to render. That was really, really easy, huh? <laughs> Just click the green render button. Make sure that the size is correct up here. 640 by 480 is great. And click render. And you'll see V-Ray think for a minute. It'll open up the renderer and show you what it's working on. And there's our beautiful render. Once it's all done, um, you'll be able to hit the save button and save this to any place on your computer that you may like. There we go. Enjoy.